आफ्टरनून एवरी वन दिस इज शैताली बाग चीफ ऑफ यूरो विद एविएशन डिफेंस यूनिवर्स एंड आई एम रिपोर्टिंग लाइव फ्रॉम आई डेक्स नैप डेक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री अबुदाबी आई एम एट द नैप डेक्स साइड एंड आई एम एट द आर ओन इंडिया पवेलियन आई हैव द प्रिविलेज टू बी विद एस अनुवलन चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर विद एच एल एंड एस कृष्ण कुमार चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर विद एच एल now uh, we are here to discuss recently day before yesterday h group and hal have signed an mou and we are going to ask the two gentlemen more about this mou more about this partnership that is going to happen welcome to our chat show sir so um, sir uh, i'm going to ask you first please tell us more about this mou that has been signed day before yesterday between h and hal yeah production um, it all sort of yeah Yeah, it all sort of the nine member UAE delegation led by Major General Saul Pilot, Ibrahim Nasser Mohammed Al Alwai, Commander of United Arab Emirates Air Force and Defence, Air Defence Principal H L President. They came to H L during uh, 27th September 2022. He was also accompanied accompanied by Chairman of H Group, Mr. Michael Abdul Aziz Mohammed Al Banai. The purpose of the visit was uh, to explore the design capabilities and the manufacturing facilities available within H A L, which uh, probably uh, can be made use of in a joint collaboration between H A Group and H A L to explore the possibilities for integration of the weapons which has been developed by H Group organizations and also its potential for my C A Mark II. Then uh, uh, exploring the uh, business opportunities working together in the case of unmanned aerial vehicles. And also upgradation of the existing Mirage and Hawk platforms, which is the main. They expressed their interest, willingness to take this business business opportunities further. And subsequently, a technical team visited from UAE to H L. They went through the facilities available in the A R D C, which is our aircraft research research center, and also manufacturing facilities for this available with the light bomber aircraft division. Followed by that, the HCL team uh, led by our director of operations and director of engineering. They also visited the organizations which are governed by H Group, especially those who are interested in this uh, digital manufacturing and uh, and weapon integration aspects. So subsequently, addition was taken to sign two MOUs, one MOU and Aero India 2023, which will be about integration of the Altaric design in HCL main platforms. And second MOU was the H in the recent time, in two days back from the event which we had on the second day of IDEX 2023, which is for a joint business collaboration between H Group and H L, which is more of a general in nature where we explore the opportunities available for joint effort to develop weapon systems and integration and the usage of artificial intelligence and different development of unmanned combat aerial vehicles. And making use of the infrastructure what is available between both H A L and the H Group for their mutual interests, and also training, and also training prospects, for training prospects what is available in H A L. So it's uh, it uh, opens many doors uh, where probably each one of us can try to explore our individual strength, and uh, in the coming days probably our combined strength will be much more than our individual strength. That is the whole purpose of this. Right. So next, I'm going to ask you, sir, uh, 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 sir, S. Krishna Kumar, sir, about because we read in the reports about the HL small gas turbine jets, yeah. uh, with the turbine engines which are going to be on the guided missiles of uh, the UAE. So, can you tell us more about it? What, how you are going to collaborate in this? We have currently two engines on development, which are one is the turbofan engine. Which is called the Hindustan turbofan engine, 25 kilometers, and the Hindustan turbo shaft engine, which is 1200 kilowatt. 1200 kilowatt is basically designed for helicopters, and the uh, 25 kilometer is targeted for the aircraft as well as unmanned aircraft. So we also have a smaller engine, mm -hmm. which is again a jet engine, a turbofan engine. Which uh, is currently certified and being used, and we are using in some of our applications. So we have used for a pilotless target aircraft. Same thing. So that is one thing we had offered to uh, Bharat Corporation that they can use in their smaller facilities. Right. 
So, sir, uh, in this MOU, in this uh, strategic partnership, uh, we have heard that there is going to be a utilization of the edge GPS jamming and spoofing equipment on HAL's platform. Can you please uh, elaborate on that? Yeah, we, we are currently in the process of developing certain advanced systems, which are uh, which is a team of manned and manned uh, systems, mm -hmm. and in that we would like to have uh, not only our own spoofing equipment but we will also have jam resistant and spoof resistant systems on board. So in this, we are working closely with the uh, edge group. Alright. So why edge group? I mean, is it uh, a part, just because it's a part of the memorandum? Because I believe uh, all over the world, we have much better and good companies and uh, HL has been collaborating with them. So why suddenly edge group for uh, the spoofing and this? Edge group came to HL. Uh, along with the UAE armed forces and they have envisaged an interest that it will be of mutual interest to integrate their weapons and systems in our aircraft and jointly market the uh, platforms in not only UAE, world over. So that is how it went forward. So it's not that uh, it's not only available from edge group, it may be available worldwide. But as of now, in India, we have limited reserves. But Edge Group is ready to even transfer the technology to India so that we can make it. Happen. That's a key thing that you are looking for, sir. Uh, now that this MOU has been signed, so from since when shall we start expecting this kind of cooperation and the work start going on? So, so begin slowly. Probably, sir, there will be more visits between HAL and Edge Group. There are at this time probably dissonance will enter the picture now it's at the management level. Therefore, deeper discussions will happen in the days to come. We we'll look at the ways uh, the, how the missile can be integrated in some of the HL platforms and it needs to be tested. And uh, the ultimate idea is uh, we will have some platform which we will be able to export to other countries, like the UAE and the neighboring countries. And uh, we believe the sending potential will be more because one of the first which has been developed in this region is getting integrated with our platform. So we will be looking at the export opportunity for HL made platforms. And the advantage they are going to gain is the missiles what is being made in this region can be made in So there is a mutual attraction for both each other. So that is, we believe that is going to be the sending potential of this. Region. Exactly. My next question was coming on this region itself. Here we see in IDEX, we see uh, all the Middle East delegations coming, the military delegations which come to IDEX and IPTEX, and the African countries. So this region is a very potential region for more exports for from India or UAE as well. So how does this um, partnership of your, where do you see it is going from uh, here to the different regions out here? Have you seen any more interest from the other countries out here? It will not happen. In fact, uh, we, we have been exploring the opportunities available to export our uh, light combat aircraft, which is uh, DOT designed and developed, uh, which is uh, it is definitely uh, for a single engine category, is one of the most sophisticated aircraft available in the world. We strongly believe that the business collaboration with the United Arab Emirates in the coming years will pave the way for uh, exporting our LC in the neighboring especially in Mino and uh, North, uh, North African countries. They are critical for this platform because for uh, missiles they don't have to depend upon other nations, especially where restrictions will come uh, depending on the political situation. So we believe this, this will definitely promote uh, our uh, business opportunities and export growth in the coming years. So do you say it is a very good, it is an ease of business doing it in Middle East? Yes, yes, this is going to be the first step towards that. Okay. That is, uh, but, uh, especially in today's time, people don't see any common, uh, they are completely importing the systems or aircraft or helicopters, what they want. Uh, like we have got initiatives like Orphanel for and Make India programs. I am seeing the countries developing, especially in Gulf countries, where they invest their own money in R&D. And they, the, those countries are also interested in developing their own capability. So we have to look at the, wherever we are stronger, we would like to sell those things to other nations. Generally, if they have something which they can offer to us, which can be integrated into our platform. So it's going to be, be definitely, it's going to promote each other's interest. So we welcome that. Right. So to you, finally, we just had Aero India in Bangalore, home yes. ground for HAL, and immediately after that, IDEX Navtex. Aero India was completely aircrafts, 
air systems. Here it's military and navy. So how has been IDEX and AVDEX for HAL here? Today is the fourth day, the crowd, the business, and of course the environment that you have received here from the business, in point of business here. The environment here is very good and it's very well organized. Uh, as compared to the uh, Aero India, Aero India is more for air shows, air displays and such things. Yes, we had stalls, we had business meetings, but this is purely business and business meetings. There are no demonstrations, there is no fly pass, there is nothing of that sort. And it was very interesting to be part of it and uh, we had some business meetings here which were, uh, which will be fruitful in the long run. Right. Thank you so much for your time both gentlemen and uh, we are really proud to have India Pavilion anywhere in the world, in any show in the world. And next time we definitely wish to see HAL India Pavilion again in a different show, in a different location. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. Thanks Thank for your time.